Well, Sexy Red, donkey of the day for Monday, November 18th, and it feels like every bit of a Monday, go to a teenager named Tristan Myers and his unnamed 16-year-old little friend. Now, Tristan's name has been released because he's 18. The 16-year-old is not because uh, he's underage, but let me tell you something. They both getting donkey of the day because they both lied for no damn reason. See, there were four people in this car. 18 year old Tristan driving, 16 year old in the passenger seat, and two girls in the back seat, ages 15 and 16. I'm getting anxiety even reading this story because when you got a 16 year old at home like I do just learning to drive and she got friends that are also 16 but some a little older 17 and 18 and they all driving but haven't been driving long the parental paranoia you feel okay I am not in the space where I feel comfortable letting my daughter get in the car with none of her little teenage friends okay and this story ain't helping and I damn sure don't have the heart to let her learn how to drive yet her mother is handling that and driving instructor is handling that daddy nerves bad Okay, I can't do it. I honestly don't know what our parents were thinking when we were younger, letting us drive. Yet here we are. Now, the reason Tristan and his 16 year old friend are getting donkey today is because three of the teenagers were taken to a local hospital with non life threatening injuries because Tristan crashed the SUV he was driving. He lost control of the Ford Bronco he was driving and the two young girls were thrown from the vehicle. Thank God they are still alive. Not one of these youngins had on seat belts. Not one of them, okay? Mm -mm. Now, the reason they are getting the biggest hee-haw is because Myers first said the accident happened because he swerved to avoid an animal in the road. Understandable and believable because they stay committing suicide in our society. But that's not what happened. See, deputies talked to the teens, and Myers was speeding and driving erratically before the crash. He was actually uh, cited for inattentive driving. Now, why do you think he was speeding? showing off right mm -hmm. we all did it when we were younger and why was he driving erratically what had his attention was he live on instagram was he live on tic tac was he attempting to take a selfie uh. was he texting and driving what tic tock tic tock sir tic tock oh. unk was he texting and driving huh no actually he wasn't doing any of those things okay see what had happened was the 16 year old he had in the passenger seat with him that 16 year old decided to use a lighter <laughs> to, tre tr to set Tristan's armpit hair on fire. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. This little 16 year old took a lighter to Tristan's armpit hair. <laughs> it's hard for me to condemn people for things that I've thought about doing. <laughs> what? But it's easy for me to condemn people for acting on it. See, there has been plenty of times throughout my life where I've looked at someone's armpit hair and thought to myself, hmm. Is that flammable? Okay. Especially when you can see the pieces of deodorant in the armpit hair. I understand the urge to want to roast some marshmallows <laughs> around a warm arm fire pit, but you can't let those intrusive, intrusive thoughts win, young man. Okay. My whole life has been me fighting my intrusive thoughts. Okay. You almost got yourself killed and got other people in the car killed because you couldn't take what was happening under your homie's arms anymore. Makes me also wonder, Tristan, was you musty? Okay, was there an odor coming from Tristan's underarms that smelled like the finest of Kush? So this young 16-year-old felt like it was only right to put a lighter to it? Let's discuss, okay? Because we don't talk about underarms smelling like Kush enough. And how? I'm sure K-9 units get confused. So I can totally see why this young man would set Tristan's armpit hair on fire if indeed he was musty. I'm lying. No, I'm not. Please give Tristan Myers and his 16-year-old friend the biggest hee-haw. Mm -mm. This is one of the ones where you have to punish your child because they have to learn that this is unacceptable behavior. But it's also one of those ones that you and your wife find hilarious. <laughs> okay? You're Parents just happy nobody is stuff. dead. I mean, nobody After died. The After the mm -hmm. fact. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Got paid for that car to get fixed. It ain't funny. I will say this to any parent out there. It is there. kind of funny. No, it's not. You see your man, the armpit head just sitting there. <laughs> no, it's not. All you can think to yourself is, I want to set that on fire. They must what have been high. Of I was about to say, and what they type of lighter high. was like even like. This one right here. Look any one this. of those. I can do this right with this all the smoke light I got in my hand. Look, that's all you need. A little bit of flame. Let's see if it works Especially on you. Especially if you got some deodorant on. Let's see if it and works. And you can see a little curl. Let you. me see if it works on your wig. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if work on your wig. Let me get one little strand of that wig. <laughs> Stupid. Let me see if fire, set goodness. fire on fire. All right, all right. <laughs>
I want to tell parents First out there, all, there is a device that you can put on the car. It's not that expensive where you can tell exactly how fast your kid is going. Oh my and you can actually, I had it on both my kids' cars when I first when they first what started you to drive. Do? Call them while they're going fast and say, don't go fast? Well, most That's kids know it's on the car and they know that you get an alert if you do go fast so kids won't go fast. So now kids know that they're going to get in trouble for something so they don't do it. When has that ever been a thing? Yes, if you know you're going to get your car taken away from you if you go over certain miles per hour, yes. Yes, you're not going to do Lauren. it. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you do? What, you what the hell are you I doing? I can tell in somebody didn't get no discipline in Delaware. <laughs> okay, my there was never no consequences for your like, actions in Delaware. My mom huh? didn't have stuff like that. And uh, never let your kids ride with a kid that has just got their license. Just doesn't never. happen in my household. Mm -mm. My, my mom couldn't it. wait for us to be independent. My best friend's <laughs> yeah. dad actually shout out to Otis. My best friend's dad actually used to give us the car way before he was supposed to. I would drive us everywhere in a truck in a range. Delaware. We were very independent, leading kids. We we were forward thinking. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today, sir. Yes, indeed. Now, when we come back, Elliot Connie will be joining us. He has a new book out. Change your questions, change your future. We're going to talk to him next. So don't go anywhere. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.